President Trump and his representatives denied for months that there was any link between Russia and the Trump campaign. But now, Donald Trump Jr. confirmed he and other campaign officials met with a Russian lawyer who said she had information that could damage Hillary Clinton. Trump Jr., his brother-in-law Jared Kushner, and campaign chairman Paul Manafort met at Trump Tower in June of last year with attorney Natalia Veselnitsya. She is said to have ties to Russia's government. Donald Trump Jr. said he believed he was meeting with, in his words, an individual who I was told might have information that's helpful to the campaign. Jeff Begay has new details on that meeting that the White House says that the president knew nothing about. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. The Trump administration has said on multiple occasions that it never had any contact with Russians trying to meddle in the election. But according to the New York Times, the pretext for that meeting contradicts those statements because it was reportedly set up around alleged damaging information regarding Hillary Clinton's campaign. Donald Trump Jr. claims he didn't know who he would be meeting at the June 9th sit-down at Trump Tower, but he asked the campaign's chairman and a top advisor to be there. The woman they met was Natalia Veselnitskaya, a Russian lawyer with possible ties to the Kremlin. In a statement, Trump Jr. says Veselnitskaya offered information on individuals connected to Russia who were funding the Democratic National Committee and supporting Mrs. Clinton. But he added that it quickly became clear that she had no meaningful information. Trump Jr. claims she then changed subjects to Russian adoption and U.S. sanctions on Russian human rights abusers, which he says was her true agenda all along. The meeting was arranged at the request of Rob Goldstone, a music publicist who represents Russian pop star Amin Agalarov. Amin's father is billionaire oligarch Aras Agalarov. Moscow is gonna get hotter. He helped bring Trump's 2013 Miss Universe pageant to Moscow. Amin's music video starred Donald Trump in his signature boardroom. You're fired. Donald Trump won a landslide election. The American In January, Vice President Mike Pence flatly denied campaign connections to the Russians. Did any advisor or anybody in the Trump campaign have any contact with the Russians who were trying to, to meddle in the election? Well, of course not. But on Sunday, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff questioned why top Trump advisors were in the meeting. And there's no reason for this, uh, this Russian government advocate to be meeting with Paul Manafort or with Mr. Kushner or with the president's son if it wasn't about uh, the campaign and Russia policy. White House Chief of Staff Reince Priebus claimed Democratic operatives were behind it. It seems to be on the end of the Trump individual. It's a big nothing burger, but may spin out of control for the DNC and the Democrats. And the Democrats say that they had nothing to do with that meeting. The new information comes in the midst of the ongoing investigation, which is trying to determine, among other things, whether Trump campaign representatives knew they were being used or whether they were unwittingly being manipulated by Russian operatives. Nora. All right, Jeff, thank you so much.